My name is Mary Helen Wheeler, M-A-R-I-H-E-L-E-N-W-H-E-E-L-E-R. -E and I've been following this now for a couple of years. You all have seen my face over a couple of years in all the different places that we've been. And you've heard me take just about every argument that I can to convince this committee that this is not something we need in Florida. This being the concentration of the largest, largest concentration of freshwater springs in the world makes it unique in all of the world. So, of course, we are here to protect it with everything we have to protect it. There's another, there was an article, actually, it was just an advertisement in the paper today for this meeting in the Gainesville Sun. And it's disturbing, but let me read the part that was disturbing. The Sable Trail Natural Gas Pipeline is moving towards state and federal approval despite some concerns about the projected environmental impact of the 3.2 billion, 515-mile, three-foot-wide pipeline. That's discouraging because it says it's moving towards state and federal approval. approval. For anybody who is reading this, it's probably discouraging for us to come express our concerns because it sounds like it's a done deal. If that is a done deal and we're just here wasting our time and yours, that's pretty, it's a pretty cruel joke. Um, we really come here thinking that we have the opportunity to make a difference. And we're here to do that because our state folks are not taking, we don't have, I don't know, is there anyone in this room who's a, an official of any kind? City? Well, city Council. City Council, that's important. Now, I got in touch with our representative's office. He's got the flu, couldn't come tonight. I also got in touch with um, uh, our Congressman Ted Yoho, and they didn't know about the meeting tonight. Um, I imagine he's in Washington. But in any case, we need people here who are in our leadership capacity to stand up for us and our area, and we're not getting that support. So what you have to do is to take back to Washington all the stories you've heard for the last two years of these amazing people, smart, caring, articulate Floridians, who are trying desperately to protect ourselves and our posterity through our environment. We're looking at the, we're, we're being assaulted from the Gulf of Mexico, it's dying. We're looking at, at blasting off the East Coast. We're looking off dredging off Miami. We're looking at being surrounded in, by dangers that are going to impact our very livelihood here. So I would ask you please, to take the stories back that you've heard over the last two years from the grassroots. It's not coming from the top, but from the grassroots of the people who really live and breathe in that earth. Thank you. Our next speaker is Karen Arrington.